Hi, I'm Andrea Eldridge from Nerds on Call at callnerds.com, and today what we're going to talk about is how to fix a sticky button, sticky home button on an iPod Touch. Now, for most people, this is probably sticky because just over time, kind of debris from your fingers has gotten inside the surrounding portion of that button and makes it so it's just not as responsive. So the easiest way with most electronic devices to clean something like that is going to be to power down the device. So you're going to press and hold that power button at the top until you get your power off option. So we're going to go ahead and power off the iPod. And then you're going to take a Q-tip and some rubbing alcohol. The reason you want to use rubbing alcohol instead of water or soap is it's actually going to evaporate more quickly. So you're going to get your rubbing alcohol and just do some general cleaning there. Um, probably press in a little bit with your Q-tip so that you can get all around the edging. Um, once it's completely dried, I'd say give it just a minute or two, then you can go ahead and power that back on and see if your home page button is working as it should. Now, some people um, are saying that when they refer to a sticky home button, they're actually having problems with that button being non-responsive for more than just gunk getting caught in it. It's more of a software glitch kind of problem. Um, I haven't had this problem happen with this iPod Touch, so I can't actually demonstrate exactly how to do this theory, but there is a theory that's out there um, that you can do a certain process while you're attached to iTunes in order to affect that uh, uh, sticky home button. So let's walk through that. You're going to go and select settings, and again, I can't promise that this will actually work, but it's a theory. So uh, you're going to select uh, general, I believe, here, and then you're looking for lock passcode. What you're looking to do is actually set a passcode for when you turn on the system. So you're going to choose turn passcode on and enter something that you'll remember. And at this point, when you power down the device, well, just click it off and click it back on again you're going to be prompted to come to this passcode screen. From here, the theory goes that if you press your power button, which is at the top, and your home button in a very quick succession, just once, that you'll get a flash, and that flash will reset your home screen. Now, in my case, I don't actually get it to happen. I do get a flash, but mine takes a picture, probably because my home button isn't actually sticky. But the theory is that that should actually reset your home screen button so that when you do click, you will have it be much more responsive.